Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick balance flow class. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so come on up to the top of your mat. And we'll bring the big toes toward one another. Have a little bit of space here between your heels. And then you can take your hands to your heart and close your eyes and start to work on that deep breathing. And working through ujjayi breath and breathing in and out the nose. And it's letting the air start to rush against the back of the throat. And so you may not be able to hear my breath because of the, and the noise canceling that I've got turned on. I don't want to hear everything else that's going on in the room. Uh, but you should be able to hear yours. And exhale, relax the arms. We're going to begin with a few rounds, Surya Namaskar A, sun salutations. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands toward your mat. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step to a high push-up. And drawing your belly button in, lower down. See if you can hover here, Chaturanga Dandasana. And then pressing into upward facing, tops of the feet. Take it back over the toes to downward dog. So spreading your fingers wide, pressing your palms down into the floor. And if you'd like, you can pedal the feet, bend one knee, bend the other. And reaching the heels of the straight legs down toward the floor. And bend your knees, look forward, step the feet up. Lengthen, look up. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, arms back up. And exhale, hands to center. A couple more of those. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step to plank. And you can modify plank by taking the knees to your mat. Lower down again. Upward facing, look up. And downward dog, exhale. And so with each inhale that you take here in Downward Dog, we're trying to press the floor a little bit further away. And with each exhale, the heels are drawing closer down to your mat. And you've got your gaze focused to one spot there back between the feet. And bend your knees, look forward, step the feet up. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, back up, and exhale, hands to center. But take one more of those on your own. So when you get to downward dog, just counting five breaths there to yourself, and you finish the sun salutation out. And again, take your time, finish up. When you're done, taking your hands to your heart and dropping your gaze to your fingertips. Good. So this balance flow class, we're going to add uh, just traditional balance poses. We're going to mix them into the flow. Uh, so if you need to head closer to a wall uh, to do your balance, uh, you can do that. Otherwise, just stay here at the top of your mat. You can get started with tree pose. So we'll start with the right leg fanning the toes up, bring them back down to the floor, and draw your navel in. You want to keep a strong core here throughout your, your balance, and especially during the transition from one pose to the next. We'll pick the left foot up, and you can take your foot to your inner thigh, 
or down there to your calf, so above or below the knee. And your hands come to your heart. And again, you're focusing your gaze to one spot here, somewhere a few feet out in front of you, something's not gonna move. And again, since we're linking a few balance, standing balance poses together, but if you happen to fall out of one, if you lose your balance, you know, no big deal. It's coming right back into it when you can. And with your next inhale, pull your left knee to your chest. On the exhale, bend that leg behind you and then reach back the right hand, try to find hold of your foot. If you're close to the wall, you can take your right hand to it. Otherwise, reach the right arm up. And then as you exhale, small bend in that right knee, kicking the left foot back into your hand. So again, if you're close enough to a wall or a door, and you can use it to help with your balance here. So your palm touching it, or try to lean far enough into it that you can take your forearm against it. If you're kind of limited on space, you want to balance just on that right leg, uh, taking that hand to your heart instead. Your next inhale, come back up, hands to your center, knee to your chest. And then as you exhale, you're gonna take your left hand to the inside of that thigh, and then just gently work that knee open to the side. So similar to tree pose that we did, uh, we're just not letting the foot touch the leg this time. And if you wanted to take your peace fingers to your big toe, if you had the space for that, you could extend the leg out. Inhale, come back to center. And then as you exhale, land that left leg toward the back of the mat. So we're gonna come to crescent lunge, so you want it far enough back to where you can lift your heel. Interlace the fingers, stretch the arms out, reach it back up. And bending down into that right knee. And your gaze lifting up toward your fingers. Go ahead and separate the hands shoulder width, take a breath in. As you exhale, take your hands to your heart. You're gonna hook that left arm to the outside of the right leg. Stack your palms or take a fist there with the bottom hand and then twist, look over to your right shoulder. Let's hold this twist, take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step that left foot forward, relax here and ragdoll for a few rounds of breath here. So you got your feet hip width, bend one knee, bend the other. And just sway the hips back and forth. And then settling somewhere back in center, bend your knees as much as you need to to be able to grab your big toes. Take another breath in, look up, and then exhale, fold forward. And try to broaden the shoulders here, working your chest down towards your thighs. And then elbows starting to bend. Now let's take another breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to hips, chin to your chest. Inhale, slowly come back up. And release, stepping the feet back together. So now that you know which poses are coming, if you need a little bit more space, uh, adjust yourself here on your mat, stepping back a bit if you need. Now let's, let's go ahead and work through the other side. Fan the left toes up, bring them back down. Tree pose here will get us started. So uh, you can even keep that right foot on the floor if you wanted. Or again, Work it up here on your leg. And hands to your heart. And remember, three things help with balance. Strong core, gaze focusing to one spot, and your breath, and keeping that rhythm going. So as you hold here in tree, again, keep pulling this right knee back. So if you pull it further back here, maybe getting the knees in a line, get a stretch there to that inner right thigh. And 
And with your next inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, set it for standing bow. So we'll bend that left uh, right leg back behind us. Grab hold with the right hand. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And then exhale, kick the foot back into the hand. And remember, if you want to use the wall for balance, you can let your palm touch it. Or if you're a little bit closer, your forearm touches it. If you don't have the space, the left hand to your heart. And if you feel like you're going to lose your balance here, uh, try to kick that right foot just a little bit more back into the hand. And then see if that'll help keep your balance. As you inhale, come back up, knee to chest, hands to heart. And right hand to the inside of the thigh. Start to press the knee open. And you could do peace fingers to big toe. And then work the leg out to the right that way. And if that's a little bit too much on the hamstring, you can always back off to the knee. Inhale, let's come back to center, hands to heart. Exhale, crescent lunge. Again, right leg way toward the back of the mat. Go ahead and lift the heel. Interlacing fingers, stretch it out, reach it up. Good. And again, a few rounds of deep breath. Modified version of this, uh, the right knee would drop down to your mat. And go ahead and separate the hands, take a breath in. Exhale, twist, and we'll work the right arm to the outside of the leg. And this is your modified version, right knee down to your mat. And if you'd rather work with straight arms here, let's take that right hand to the inside of the foot. And so release it, exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping forward. Let's relax here and ragdoll again. So you can feet about hip width. Bend one knee, bend the other. And swing hip side to side. Yeah. As you come back to center, bend your knees a bit more here and then step on the hands. Try to get the toes towards your wrist. Inhale, look up. Exhale, shift the balance forward. And chin towards your chest, elbows. Bending out to the side if you can. And again, a few rounds of deep breath. Release the hands, take a breath in, look up. Exhale, hands to hips, chin to chest. Inhale, slowly start to come back up. And release, stepping your feet together. From here, we're going to make our way down to the floor, reach the arms back up overhead. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step to plank. And draw your belly button in, lower. Upward facing inhale. Downward dog, exhale. And then go ahead and come to a comfortable seated position. So cross legs, sit on your heels if you'd rather. Just let your hands find a comfortable spot. And then sit up tall, close your eyes. And go ahead and work through a few rounds of deep breath. And just try to lift through the crown of the head. With the back of the skull pulling back just a little bit. The shoulders drop down. Let's relax your jaw, relax your belly.
You open your eyes. Uh, so at this point, if that's all the time you have for your practice, we're going to end it here. If you have more time for relaxation, uh, then go ahead and lie on your back, come into Shavasana. You can rest anywhere from five to ten minutes, however long that you've, you've got for it. If this is the end of your practice, then hope you have a nice rest of your day. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and we'll get new videos here every week. See you next time. Namaste. Hi. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that class. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get a new short form class every week. And if you like what you see and you want to support me, go become a member at theyogamat.com. You'll get unlimited live virtual classes every week and access to our on-demand library with over 500 classes in it. Have a great day. Namaste.